go figure. The trolls are ragging on me for not having an orange okay. Well, I got the red flags. And guess what? The guy was wrong. See that power box right there on the corner of my property? His little map shows that that power connection feeds this lot and that lot. So we imaginary right through here, 45 degrees across my yard, he said that the power goes up here. And I questioned him on it because I said my power meter is on the other side of the house. They don't do that. He's a young guy. Obviously he doesn't know what he's doing. So he put these stupid flags in and cleared me for everything else. I know my gas is in the back. And when the power was installed, this is a new subdivision. Everything was put in three-party trench. Power, gas, and phone. Or sorry, power, cable, and phone. The gas comes in from the back. Power, cable, and phone comes in from the front. I've already had that verified when I did some other digging. Anyway, uh, I got my locator out of my truck. And I picked up nothing here. The locator I have does 60 hertz. You just change it to power and it'll pick up 60 hertz as long as there's a load on it. Either exporting or importing, it'll pick it up. And it picked up fuck all. Where my actual power goes in, and this is the way they do it, would come from that box. And it's right about here. Comes up like this. They're not allowed to go 45 degrees across a yard anymore. They haven't done that for about 30 years. And then straight up there to my power meter. So go fuck yourselves, guys. You want an orange okay? I'll give you an orange okay. There's my locator. Right there. That's a good unit, actually. I like that one. I can do really accurate locates with that one. I can locate gas, power, phone, anything I want. Let's go do an orange okay for you fuckers. By the way, they don't mark orange okays on the ground. Troy's a douchebag. They would have just given him a piece of paper saying no conflict or something like that. Okay. There, are y'all fucking happy now? <laughs> okay. Too late for that one. I've already dug it. This is ball breaking work. I'll show you a Tim Cat in action. And then I'll rehydrate working on this one for about 45 minutes about one third of the way in that's my mark right there 36 inches that piece of tape it's old-fashioned way and it's ball busting work Crank. It gets easier once I get halfway. It has been on every ho every hole that I dug. The top is the worst because you're holding the thing up like this, right? I put the two by two, two or two by tens down, so I don't ruin my lawn ruined it over there where I didn't use 2x10s. The rest of it's recovering fast. So if I get three done today, one, two, three, three done tomorrow, I could take Sunday off and go to church. Nah, just kidding. How about I do two today, two tomorrow, two on Sunday, and then I'll order the gravel next week. Spray paint the road where I want them to dump it. Then right after work I can shovel it in. I'm thinking Friday afternoon have Raffins deliver some gravel. Three quarter inch crushed. I'm not sure, maybe half inch crushed? You gotta tamp it in. Actually this hole's going way easier. 
this is my easiest one yet. Or else I'm just getting stronger. The goal before I take a hydration break is having that green marker about an inch into the hole. Then I take a, <coughs> a half hour smoke and uh, alcoholic beverage rehydration. I am on holidays. This is what I've been doing on my holidays. That and Troll and Troy. A full scoop there. My fucking back is killing me. Okay, time to go in and rehydrate. The green mark's down. Big long movie for my picture for my movie. 